Welcome to Byte Further. Today's video is about how to reset unavailable iPhone. If you've updated your iPhone to iOS 15.2 or later versions, you'll see iPhone unavailable messages if you forgot your iPhone passcode and entered the wrong password several times. Your iPhone says iPhone unavailable try again in 1 minute, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, or 1 hour, along with an emergency button. Face ID is not working. And there is no erase option to reset unavailable iPhone. So, what should you do next to fix unavailable iPhone? In fact, if you totally forgot the passcode, the only way to unlock an unavailable iPhone is to reset the phone due to security reasons. When it comes to how to factory reset unavailable iPhone, there are mainly four ways to do that. The first solution is to use Apple's Erase iPhone option. It helps erase your unavailable iPhone without computer or lock screen passcode for unlocking. The second solution is to reset your locked iPhone via iCloud in a browser. The third solution is to factory reset iPhone unavailable screen in Find My App in another iOS device. The final way to restore unavailable iPhone is to use iTunes or Finder on your computer. Now, let's start. First of all, I'll show you how to reset if iPhone is unavailable using Erase iPhone button. Erase iPhone function is only built with iPhone or iPad that has updated to iOS 15.2 or later versions. Okay, where's the Erase iPhone button? Some users complain that they only see iPhone unavailable try again message and the emergency button at the bottom after incorrect passcode entries. Indeed, Erase iPhone option will only show up after you keep entering the wrong passcode on the lock screen more than 7 times in a row. And most importantly, a SIM card should have been inserted into your locked iPhone. So, if you haven't seen the Erase iPhone option, make sure to insert a SIM card into your unavailable device and keep entering the passcode wrong more than 7 times continuously. Then, you'll see iPhone unavailable screen saying try again in 15 minutes along with Erase iPhone button on the bottom right corner of the screen. Tap Erase iPhone button. It brings you to the next screen showing that iPhone is in security lockout. It prompts you to try entering the passcode again to unlock or erase the device content and completely reset it. As you forgot the passcode, just tap Erase iPhone option again. Next, enter your Apple ID password to sign out. Make sure your unavailable iPhone has an internet connection. Then, it'll take a while to clear all the content and settings and factory reset your iPhone that's unavailable. After a while, the reset process is done and your iPhone will restart. When you see the hello screen, you've done factory restoring your unavailable iPhone. To set it up, swipe up the screen, and follow the on-screen instruction. If you have a backup in iCloud or iTunes, you can restore the data in the apps and data screen. Then, continue to set up your iPhone and go to the home screen. See, you managed to fix an unavailable iPhone and bring it back to factory settings. If the erase iPhone button doesn't work, you can reset iPhone when it says unavailable using iCloud's Find My option. You can use a computer or reset iPhone remotely on another smartphone. It's up to you. Run any browse. Go to iCloud.com and log in with your Apple ID and password. Note that you should use the account that's signed up in your unavailable iPhone. Enter the verification code. Then, on the iCloud page, find and click Find iPhone. On the next page, click to open all devices menu. Choose your iPhone that's unavailable and you need to reset it from the list. After that, hit Erase iPhone option and click Erase button to confirm the reset. If your device has connected to a stable internet network, your unavailable iPhone will be reset now. It'll take a few minutes to erase your device content and bring the locked iPhone back to its factory settings. You can also use Find My App on another iOS device to reset iPhone unavailable screen without computer. Go to Find My App. Log in Apple Idaho and password that you use to sign into the iPhone that says unavailable. In Devices tab, choose your locked iPhone. Then, swipe up and scroll down until you see the Erase This Device option. Click it. Type in your Apple ID password to trigger the reset process. When the reset ends, your iPhone will boot up to the Hello screen, the most original status. Set it up step by step. Remember to set up an easy to remember passcode. During the setup process, you can restore data back if you have backups in iCloud or on computer. Get to Apps and Data screen and choose Restore from iCloud Backup or Restore from Mac or PC to get data back. If you don't have backups, just choose Don't Transfer Apps and Data to move on. 
Quickly complete the phone settings and you're done resetting your unavailable iPhone. If you forgot the Apple ID password, you can use iTunes or Finder to factory reset your iPhone when it says iPhone unavailable message. Connect your unavailable iPhone to a computer. I'm using a Windows computer, so I'll open iTunes software. If you're using a Mac computer running macOS Catalina 10.15 or later, launch Finder to restore your unavailable iPhone. After connecting to the computer, you might find iTunes or Finder fails to detect your device. It requires you to enter the passcode on the lock screen but you can't do that because the phone becomes unavailable and you forgot the code. Worry not. Here's a solution. That is to put your unavailable iPhone into recovery mode. The steps will be different on different iPhone models. If you use iPhone 6S or earlier versions, press side button and home button together and keep holding the buttons until recovery mode screen shows up. In iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, press side button and volume down button and keep holding them until you see the recovery mode screen. In iPhone 8, X, XR, 11, 12, 13, or newer versions, quickly press volume up button. Quickly press volume down button. Then, keep holding the side button until you see the recovery mode screen. So, now just press the related buttons to put your unavailable iPhone into recovery mode. You'll see the unavailable screen turns black, Apple logo shows up, then recovery mode screen appears. Ok now, keep your device connected to computer and turn to iTunes or Finder. The software now should quickly detect your iPhone and say there's a problem with it. Besides, it also gives you two options to handle the device. One is update, while another is restore. Hit restore option. Then, click restore and update button. Finish the following on-screen prompts and iTunes or Finder will start downloading the most recent iOS firmware version. Then, it'll reset your unavailable iPhone, delete everything, and install the latest iOS software into it. If your device exits recovery mode halfway, just repeat the previous steps to enter the mode again. Now, your locked iPhone is getting erased. After your device has been completely reset, you can restore data from backup in iCloud or iTunes during the setup process or start from scratch. That's all how to reset unavailable iPhone. You have known how to factory reset an unavailable iPhone without computer or you forgot the passcode. Hope this video helps you unlock the phone successfully so that you regain access to the phone. If it does, please give it a thumbs up and share it via Facebook, Twitter, and so on to help others in need. Also, if you have any further questions, feel free to write them down in the comments below and I'll reply ASAP. To learn more tech tips about iPhones, subscribe to the Byte Further channel. Now, you can click another video on the screen to keep watching.